Hi, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete, and I have your word for the day from 1 Corinthians 1440. And it says this, all things should be done decently and in order. Now, if you know very much about my personality, I love order and organization. Probably the most disorganization that I've ever seen was caused by the 2011 tsunami in Japan. The natural disaster destroyed and brought chaos to the area. It was devastating to see. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. You know what disorder looks like if you've witnessed firsthand the effects of a natural disaster like a tornado, hurricane, or an earthquake. And relief organizations that come in after that disaster, they come to bring order. They bring order to healthcare and recovery. They organize food distribution and shelter for displaced people. In the face of chaos, order is welcome and needed. And today's verse was given to a church that was in turmoil. Their time of worship, preaching, teaching, communion, and even their private lives were chaotic and they weren't lived according to God's wishes. Paul wrote them some specific instructions on how they should pursue order. Now you can read about these instructions in the surrounding verses, but I wanna just point out a few big ideas that seem to be key in bringing order to a church ministry. Verse 26 says this, all things should be done for building up. That's an excellent motivation for order. Are we doing things to build others up? Things should be done in a way that will encourage and strengthen other people and their walk with God. Verse 33 says, God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. The need for order is a part of God's character. Disorder often leads to confusion and a lack of peace. Is the way that your life is being lived one of confusion, or does it reflect the peace of God? And finally, in chapter 15, Paul encourages them to hold fast to the gospel of Christ. The salvation brought by Jesus is of primary importance when we're ordering things. Don't stray from it. Now, I know that most of you listening to this aren't actually planning church services, so maybe this passage feels a little distant from your real life. But if you're a life group leader, or you serve as a greeter at church, or you teach a kid's class, or you serve on the tech team, or any number of ministries, this is a good reminder. Maybe you are responsible for bringing order to your family life and to your activities. Maybe your primary responsibility is to order your own spiritual walk. Whatever you need to bring order to today, remember the three markers. One, the goal of order is to build up and to encourage others. Two, God's peaceful character is demonstrated through order. And finally, the gospel message needs to take priority in it all. Have a great day, and let me encourage you to bring some godly organization to some part of your life today.